Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study directional solidification and riser design, under the topic solidification and cooling. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Directional solidification. In order to minimize the damaging effects of shrinkage, it is desirable for the regions of the casting most distant from the liquid metal supply to freeze first and for solidification to progress from these remote regions toward the riser. In this way, the molten metal will continually be available from the risers to prevent shrinkage voids during freezing. The term directional solidification is used to describe this aspect of the freezing process and the methods by which it is controlled. The directional solidification is achieved by observing Voronoff's rule in the design of the casting itself, its orientation within the mold, and the design of the riser system that feeds it. For example, by locating sections of the casting with lower V by A ratios away from the riser. Freezing will occur first in these regions and the supply of liquid metal for the rest of the casting will remain open until the bulkier sections solidify. The directional solidification may also be achieved by the use of chills, internal or external heat sinks that cause rapid freezing in certain regions of the casting. Internal chills are small metal parts placed inside the cavity before pouring so that molten metal will solidify first around these parts. External chills are metal inserts in the walls of the mold cavity that can remove heat from the molten metal more rapidly than the surrounding sand in order to promote solidification. The figure A shows external chill to encourage rapid freezing of the molten metal in a thin section of the casting, and the figure B shows the likely result if the external chill were not used. Riser Design Riser is used in sand casting to feed liquid metal to the casting during freezing to compensate for solidification shrinkage. The riser must remain molten until after the casting solidifies. Kvoronoff's rule is used to compute the size of the riser that satisfies this requirement. As the riser is not a part of the casting, it will be separated from the cast part after casting is finished. Hence, it is desirable for the volume of metal in the riser to be minimum. Risers can be designed in various forms. Side riser is attached to the side of the casting by means of a small channel. Top riser is connected to the top surface of the casting. Risers can be open or blind. Open riser is exposed to the outside at the top surface of the cope. It is disadvantageous as heat will escape faster. Blind riser is entirely closed within the mold. So, we have discussed in details about directional solidification and riser design, under the topic solidification and cooling. Thank you.